Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. We are back on Fallout 4, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get, I think it's the Pyzonucleic Armor chest piece. Uh, so what you're going to do is you're going to be inside of the, uh, where is it, the um, Cambridge Polymer Labs. You will get led by Molly once you get in here through a little short, different, uh, little tour of the place, I guess. She's still functioning as if this was not abandoned and looked like crap. So you're going to end up in that room. I don't want to go back there because then she turns hostile. Um, but if you go into, you'll get into that room through the door over there and you'll just simply walk out of here. You don't really have to wait for her to get her stuff done. You will start finding these um, uh, different uh, elements, unidentified elements, uh, and then you will scan them. I'll show you guys how to do that in just a second. Uh, but you will collect all of these, and you will also collect this right here, which is the uh, nuclear element. Uh, and so what you'll do is you'll come out here, and it's pretty small. As you can see, you should have no problems um, finding the, uh, what am I trying to say, finding the different elements. Um, one of the main ones you need to do is come over here, and in here you'll read on this uh, terminal right there, that um, the terminal to get into the nuclear area is down here. You'll want to head into C4 here uh, and then wrap around into C5. So you're now in C5. You'll use this terminal to open that door, uh, which I'll go show you. Uh, but that leads into the nuclear area where you will find the nuclear element. Um, all of this stuff in here, I think there's pretty much one per room one different element and they're really easy to see um, I'll show you guys in just a second what they look like but in here it will be sitting I believe right over here it'll be sitting right here um, you are gonna get some rads uh, but you do find a couple of radaways in this place so uh, no real plot problem for that uh, just go ahead and let me go ahead and throw it on down to the radaway I don't know why I'm doing this um, then you're going to come back to this area, and right here, the polymer coating applicator, you're going to hop onto this, and right here at the check current fabrication parameters, you will see what you need. Uh, you need lithium hydride and gold, as well as isotope U-238, uh, which the isotope 238 goes here. It's the only thing that gives you the option to put it there. Uh, and then over here at the chemical uh, regent, if you put an unidentified sample in, such as I did right there, unidentified sample 65, go ahead and scan load regimens, and it will tell you what it is, tungsten, uh, simply back out and you can take it. And then, like it said, you need gold and lithium hydride. I think it was it lithium hydride first or gold? I forget. Hold on, let me look. Uh, da, 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 da. It was lithium hydride first, so would have been a waste of time if I would have tried to run that. Okay, gold, lithium hydride. Now you're going to go ahead and hop in there. I have tried all of the elements, almost. like I tried like nine combinations or something like that, and it doesn't spit out any other parts of the armor, uh, which kind of is weird to me. But you'll run the fabrication here, and it'll cl see. you'll see that running fabrication at the bottom. Uh, then it'll say Operation Subroutine Loaded. It'll give you all of this, uh, and then you'll back out. You'll see this kind of lasers come down, and then you'll see the uh, armor go by here on the conveyor belt. It's kind of weird because the conveyor belt's not moving. Uh, but then it's going to come over here, and it will pop out right here. Uh, just the armor chest piece. It's the piezo nucleic power armor. I think it's piezo or piezo nucleic power armor. Just the chest piece. Go ahead and pick it up. And this is your power armor. Uh, damage resistance, you can see there, uh, 440 health. And also radiation exposure increases action points refresh speed, which is pretty nice. There are no mods on it, but obviously you can mod it out. And in my opinion, you want to paint this because it's pretty boring the way it is. So I would assume you need to paint it. Uh, but then you can come over here, which I suggest you doing, and taking the gold and the chem and the lithium hydride. I'm not sure exactly if you come back to this area and you can get the rest of the armor. I'm not sure, but I'll show you some like a combination here. So like cobalt and tungsten. Sure, we'll do that. 
uh, and go into here and then run the load fabrication. See, it won't blink at the bottom. It'll say fabrication complete output will be dispensed at the wall panel. But if you go ahead and back out, it doesn't light up. Nothing comes, uh, so which means it's not creating anything. So you can go ahead and take those. And I would just say store them at your house or, or whatnot. You can put them on display or however you want to do it. But for now, I don't know how to get the rest of this armor. I currently just know how to get the piece that we just got of the piezo nucleic. Hopefully one day, um, well, not one day, but hopefully soon here, I'll bring you guys a video showing you how to get the rest of it. Um, I'm just kind of exploring uh, the, the game and uh, getting what I can and then showing you guys. Or if a friend tells me about something, um, I'll go get it and bring a video to you guys. Or if I read something in text and can't find a video, I'll obviously bring you guys um, that type of stuff. Uh, but that's going to do it for this video, guys. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.